few stories are more disturbing than that of the McDonald's TV mascot character, Grimace. Most people don't know that before he was the silly dumb member of the McDonald's crew, that he was actually known as Evil Grimace. In fact, back in the early days, he was just a cave-dwelling monstrosity with four arms and an appetite like no other, who would hide in a cave and only come out if others would promise him a milkshake. Believe it or not, the origin of the entire character is kind of a mystery. Some people claim that he was made to look like a chicken nugget, or the embodiment of a milkshake, and others say he was just a giant taste bud, which definitely seems the strangest to me. The crazy thing is that he freaks child audiences out so much that they literally changed his character, or at least that was the excuse the company gave. I always felt kind of bad for him, at least until I heard the backstory about the actor who first played him. I think that story is more likely the real reason why the original version of Grimace is no longer with us. See, in the early days of the McDonald Land crew, the company was starting to experiment more with putting additives and chemicals into the food. The FDA was still a thing, of course, but back then greasing the palms of your local representative was a much easier task, especially for a large company. While they were enjoying record profits, the executives knew that at some point, things might come out about people suffering side effects from the food additives they were using. That was where the idea for Grimace actually originated. According to my sources, the company wanted to normalize a monster-like character, so if people started to have things happen to them, like weight gain or mental issues, they wouldn't really be as concerned. After all, if their favorite character on TV was even worse than they were, things couldn't be too bad, right? The problem was that the only person they could get in on their plan was a very strange guy, as you would think someone involved in a plot like this probably would be. The actual original actor who played Grimace was not performed by Patty Saunders, who is often known to be the first iteration of Grimace. In fact, the actor who did it is not known by anyone. At least his name isn't. He apparently wasn't even an actor at all. He was just some guy who won a contest for eating more McDonald's than anyone else could eat. He ate nothing but McDonald's burgers for 10 years straight and had been noticed by the company for such a feat. However, you could tell that this diet had taken its effect on him already. He was a giant, but in strange places. His head and chin were swollen up huge, and his gut was hard and bulged out like a pregnant woman. He talked slow and kind of just stared past you. The most off-putting thing about him, though, was definitely the smell. He had this bizarre scent of ammonia at all times, like he had been excreting toxic chemicals. To say he kind of freaked out everyone on set would be a massive understatement. Firstly, no one really knew who had appointed him to play the character. We just knew that the director was told by a McDonald's executive that this had to be the guy. And no one really questioned it. Every day he would show up on set in full costume and wouldn't talk with anyone. In fact, he would always just go straight into the cave on set. He actually was the one who came up with the idea for Grimace to live in the cave, considering that's where he gravitated to. The director liked it, because they never had to tell him to get in a costume, or his position, or anything. He was already there in full character. One time, he weirdly came out of the cave unannounced, while they were shooting. Totally off script, he approached a group of the children in one of the shots with Ronald McDonald. He stood there staring at them for an awkwardly long time, and even was told by the director to get out of the shot, which he eventually listened to. That was when some of the young actors started complaining about him. They said that he would follow them to their trailers and wave from outside the window. One of the little boys even said that he saw him walking down his street in his neighborhood with the full Grimace costume on. Then a few days later, none of the kids showed up for their call times. Not a single one. Freaking out, the director eventually thought to ask Evil Grimace if he knew what was going on with the kids, or if he had seen them around the back lot somewhere. However, Grimace was not in his normal spot in the cave, either. 
They also noticed some disturbing things about the cave that they had neglected to see before. There were dead rats all over the place, with their heads twisted around and their bodies ravaged. Then there was this ungodly pile of hamburger wrappers in there, hundreds of them. The director sent the first AD to drive to his address on file and find him. But when he went, he saw that there was not even a house there. It was a plot of land that used to have a house on it, but now there was just this abandoned barn towards the back of the property, which the first AD hesitantly walked back to. Inside the barn was a mound of hay where the man had been sleeping, and all around the place were more food wrappers. It was like one of those hoarders shows you see on TV, only it was just McDonald's wrappers. The guy must have had some kind of weird eating disorder, where he ate like 10 times more than a normal human. Not to mention, the place had that strange ammonia smell that he gave off. That was when the first AD found the most disturbing thing he'd ever seen in his life. He had one of those shoe shelves in there that kids would put their shoes when they would climb into a McDonald's playground, and it was filled with six different pairs of kids' shoes. He also noticed these distinct pink shoes, which clearly belonged to one of the actresses who was supposed to be on set that day which was when he knew something was seriously wrong. He called the police that day and attempted to find Grimace and the missing kids, but there was no other evidence of them around the barn. Authorities then found that there was a path leading out of the back of the barn and down into a swamp, which became the main location where police suspected he'd brought them. However, unfortunately, this wasn't just any swampland. This was a huge national forest so finding one man out there was going to be a very difficult task. They searched for days, but never came up with anything. The children were not expected to still be with him. Carrying six kids around was definitely not something which seemed possible for one man who was on the run. Especially after the journal the authorities found in the barn. It was essentially Grimace's ten-year descent into madness as he ate more and more of the burgers. He wrote that he could not help but become more and more hungry. Nothing sustained him, even when he would eat dozens of burgers a day. After years of this, he moved on to birds, rats, and the police think, eventually children. As horrific and tragic as this tale is, it was not enough to take down a conglomerate like McDonald's. They changed up the character, made a few tweaks, recast the kids, and were able to move on, business as usual. Although I still to this day wonder if he's out there somewhere, in the massive unchecked swamps of that national forest, feeding on people who wander onto his path. The thought terrifies me. One thing is for sure, I will never be able to look at the character Grimace in the same way again after knowing that the lovable dumb monster portrayed once started as a real one.